They tell you their story about when they have to make a decision on buying food or medicine. It, it, it's Sometimes it's too much, you know. Centerville United Methodist Church started its food pantry in a small 10 by 12 so closet in the summer of 2020. Today, our food pantry team here uh, has been working really hard. That's just only some of the bags they've got. But after seeing the demand, Pastor Tommy Odom says the small space wasn't going to cut it. There's definitely a need in Houston County. We have a, a homeless population that, and a lot of times you don't see it. We also have a large population of people that, that just are not financially in a place where, where they can buy food the way that they need or their families are larger than, than the average family. The church moved out of the closet and into their fellowship hall to feed more people. But after another year of serving, that space also became too small. 500, 600 people total, 200, 300 families. Yeah. Uh, like I said, 100,000 pounds last year is how, many, how much we served. Uh, a little over 15,000 people. This year, the church the dedicated the Tom Shell Outreach Center on its property really to help make feeding the 5,000 a little easier. I think this is what God wanted. It really, really is. And I feel like it's Christmas every time we open our doors. The church now has enough space to store shipments of food from USDA and the Middle Georgia Regional Food Bank. And according to the Regional Food Bank, they're now one of nearly 200 food banks across the area. When families come through the line at Centerville United Methodist Church, they can get a lot of food to take home with them, like little snacks for the kids, they can get cereal for the week, and other canned goods that they can use in the weeks to come. To get food, all you have to do is fill out a form by giving your name and how many mouths you need to feed. Then food will be loaded into your car by church volunteers. And the food pantry will be giving out food again on Wednesday, February 9th. In Centerville, Peyton Lewis, 41, NBC News. Well, the food pantry is up and running on the second and fourth Wednesdays of each month, and everyone is welcome.